This video is not sponsored by Netflix, but as a subscriber myself, I'd like to let you know three psychological tricks it uses to lure you to its platform, which is what makes it a super successful company now worth even more than Disney. So the first thing Netflix uses is curiosity, but instead of fully satisfying your need, they only satisfy you by half. Here's what I mean. In the past, Netflix made you sign up for its free trial before you could even see any of its content. But a survey found out that this wasn't actually a very good customer experience because a lot of people wanted to know all the movies and TV shows available before signing up. So the Netflix research team did an experiment. They designed a new homepage where people could browse all the titles. And compared with the controlled experiment, which was the original one, it really received much better feedback. People were like, yeah, that is exactly what I need to decide whether I should sign up or not. However, when carefully examined individual's behavior, it seemed that people got into an internal shopping mode where they would just keep looking and looking and looking without ever signing up. That is why when you go to Netflix website now, you can only see a fixed wall of movie posters that you cannot click on. Instead of giving out its full catalog, Netflix decided to only give you a glimpse of its latest and most popular programs. Partially fulfilling curiosity like this turns out to have attracted even more customers. Another strategy Netflix uses is personalization. Previous studies have shown that 75% customers are more likely to buy if you can recognize them by name, know their purchase history, and can recommend products based on that. That is why when we see things like topics for Conan because he watched XYZ, we are more likely to click on them. According to Netflix, over 80% of his movies and TV shows were watched because of his recommendation system. The situation is similar to YouTube, where we have the almighty YouTube algorithm. All right, this kid, this kid knows what's up. Coming up to our last and most important point is the psychology concept of idleness aversion. According to this theory, people hate being idle and would rather enjoy keeping themselves busy even if they were forced to. Imagine for one second that Netflix could talk. Would you like to play this movie? Hold on. Would you like to watch the trailer? Just, just hold on one second. It is already playing. That is how Netflix subconsciously keeps you happy, by keeping you busy with all the visuals that play automatically whenever you stop. This feature is much like the autoplay on YouTube. Some people may like it, some people may not, but you definitely cannot discount the benefits it brings to the platform. Anyways, that's all for today. Comment below your favorite movie or TV show on Netflix, and I'll pick one we can talk about in the future.